Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video doing 5D forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Wednesday, we're going to have a detailed look at the weather for the next five days. Uh, it's turning colder, it's going to be a colder five days coming up. Um, it's going to be overnight frost, icy patches around on untreated pavements. And there may be a little bit of snow at times as well. And I'll talk you through the next five days very shortly. Just to say that day's second video update coming up on the homepage later on this afternoon. We'll be having a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days when it's sent out beyond that, uh, of course, as well. Websites using full 5D forecasts coming from weatherout.com and westcentral.de and you can find a link to both of those websites on the links page. This is the uh, latest radar picture then from the weather outlook. You can see we've got this band of heavy rain moving southwards across England and Wales. It's giving the first um, measurable rain to some parts of southern and eastern England that we've had since before Christmas. It's around the 23rd of uh, December. Now this is a cold front, so as the name implies, behind it the air is turning colder and we've got more showers and longer spells of rain across northern Scotland, also around western parts of Scotland and coming down into uh, Northern Ireland. Let's show you the uh, dew points so you can see the difference in air mass. So ahead of this uh, cold front, the dew point is up at around 7, 8, 9 across much of southern, southeastern England. Behind it, the dew point has fallen to just uh, a couple of degrees above freezing. Going to get colder through the course of the afternoon. So these areas of precipitation across northern, western Scotland and northern Ireland will increasingly start turning to hail, sleet. Eventually, by the end of the afternoon, I think we'll see snow coming down to quite low levels across uh, parts of central and northern Scotland. And as this rain moves south, east, across England and Wales, of course, the cold air is going to tuck in uh, from behind. So here's today's such a pressure chart. We've got uh, the cold front moving samples across the country. You see behind it, wind is turning into the north. Follow the isobars back. The air is originating from a long way north. This is a proper Arctic northerly that's following this uh, cold front. Um, and it's the first northerly push that we've had for a long time, actually. Probably the first real true Arctic northerly of uh, the winter. So, through the rest of this afternoon, we're going to find cloud and outbreaks of rain continue to move southwards and eastwards. It's pushing through the Midlands now to southwestern parts of England. It'll carry on into East Anglia and southeastern England too through the course of the afternoon. I say, giving the first measurable rain to some areas for around three weeks, uh, following, following along behind. Brighter skies, but with blustery showers for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Longer spells of rain across the northern parts of Scotland. Uh, and it's turning colder all the time as well. So showers will turn increasingly wintry across Scotland and Northern Ireland with snow coming down to low levels across central and northern Scotland by the end of the afternoon. Temperatures still mild in the south southeast. We're still hanging on to those mild temperatures this afternoon. So up at around 9, 10, 11 degrees in the southeast. But behind this cold front, the air is rapidly cooling. So for northern part of Scotland, just 2 or 3 degrees above freezing and with a strong Normally wind, it will feel bitterly cold. Overnight tonight, the wind turns into the north. We get that cold front out of the way. And then we're opening the floodgates to that northerly. So we'll still have some rain across East England and South East and Southern England early on in the evening. It'll go very quickly, though. Uh, and then we're going to find clearer skies following, following along behind. But with wintry showers running down the eastern coast, wintry showers draped around the western coast, and snow showers across parts of central, northern, and eastern Scotland. Going to become cold tonight. It'll be an icy night with widespread frost down to Midlands. Temperatures going quite widely down to minus 2 or minus 3. Some parts of Scotland could go down as low as minus 5 or minus 6. Uh, and there'll be widespread ice on the roads and pavements that are untreated as well tonight. So an icy, cold, frosty night uh, for many of us. So far south and southwest might just about hold up above freezing. Into uh, Thursday, so we're building up this little ridge across the country, um, but the air is still cold from the northerly that we're introducing today. So I think we'll still have snow showers there for northern eastern parts of Scotland, and snow showers probably rain down the east coast too. They'll be fairly light, not amounting to too much. In fact, a snow flurry could occur almost anywhere tomorrow, but I think the emphasis is increasingly through the day on mostly dry conditions 
with decent sunny spell, but it's going to be a cold day, temperatures at best, 3, 4, 5 degrees uh, for most of us, and as soon as it goes dark, there'll be another widespread frost. And then we move this area of low pressure in from off the Atlantic into this cold air on Friday. So, Friday starts off with a widespread frost, but also plenty of sunny spells for central, northern and eastern areas across Ireland, Wales and southwest England. We'll have cloud outbreaks of rain or sleet, and then we'll find that cloud and rain spreading eastwards, pushing into the cold air. And down in the south, it is primarily going to be rain. We could have a little bit of sleet or snow just on the leading edge for a few minutes before it rapidly starts to turn back to rain across parts of Midlands, East Anglia, South East England. But north of the Midlands and North Wales, this could actually give some quite significant snow. So sleet or snow possible for parts of uh, Northern England and Scotland during the course of Friday. Again, I think it probably turns back to rain on lower ground, but over high ground, the Pennines, the southern uplands, I think you could get quite a uh, significant covering of snow, actually, before the end of Friday afternoon. Brighter skies follow into the far west, and in the extreme east, this rain, sleet and snow may not arrive until after dark on Friday. Temperatures on Friday are going to be cold day, really, uh, 4 or 5 degrees at best for most of us. After that widespread frost and then the clouds spreading across the country, it is going to feel uh, really quite cold. Down in the southwest, we might get the temperature up to around 7 or 8 degrees. That low pressure sort of becomes stuck across the country during the course of Saturday and starts to slip away to uh, our south. So Saturday probably starts off quite grey and gloomy with showery outbreaks of rain, sleet, possibly some snow over high ground like uh, North York Moors, Pennines, Southern Uplands, those kind of areas. I think through the day, most of this rain, sleet and snow will die out and we'll have a mainly dry afternoon on Saturday with increasing amounts of sunshine. In the far south, it could actually be reasonably mild with temperatures up to around 8 or 9 degrees. But from the Midlands northwards, it's going to be another cold day uh, with temperatures only at around 3, 4 or 5 degrees. And if it stays cloudy... It will feel particularly uh, grim, I think, on Saturday. Sunday, we start to build this ridge in across the country. So uh, I expect skies will clear overnight Saturday into Sunday with another widespread frost. Sunday starts off on a frosty note, but there will be plenty of sunny spells around as well on uh, Sunday. Just a few wintry showers here and there, primarily, I would have thought, in the north and in the east. Temperature, so another fairly cold day. In fact, down in the south, it'll be a colder day. Temperatures there pegged back at around 5 or 6 degrees. And for most of us, we're sort of at freeze, fours and fives. And another widespread and even harder frost, I think, on uh, Saturday, on um, Sunday night into Monday. And then on Monday, we start to move this area of low pressure in from off the Atlantic. Now, it could be fun and games with this early next week, but I don't want to say too much about this just yet. We may well update Snow Watch uh, tomorrow, both looking at Friday's sleet and snow potential and then the early part of next week. Uh, Monday, though, the end of the Friday forecast period, starts off with a widespread frost, but also plenty of sunny spells. Uh, we'll find cloud outbreaks of rain spreading into Scotland and Northern Ireland, probably turning increasingly to snow as it hits the cold air. And also it's got cold air tucking in from behind. So the warm sector with this is likely to occlude out, I think. And that's why we could have fun and games early next week. But the Monday, any rain is probably in the far northwest. I mean, as it moves into Scotland and Northern Ireland by Monday evening, probably turning increasingly to snow, especially over high ground of Scotland. Further south, England and Wales should have a mostly dry day with sunny spells. After widespread frost, it'll be cold again. Temperatures just three, uh, four or five degrees. And if I just show you what happens on Monday night and Tuesday, you'll see that this system, as it pushes across the country, is kind of like stalling. The elongation in the ice bars tells us there's a stall taking place. And so... Perhaps a threat of rain, sleet and even significant snow moving across the country early next week. But it's a long way off and uh, we've got to firm up on it. 
So for uh, finally you see whether in your area from weather outlook here situation today we've got this cold front moving south as an east was taking rain across England and Wales turning brighter but colder behind it with wintry showers in the north. Tomorrow is a mainly dry day but it will be cold, plenty of sunny spells, a few wintry flurries um, in the north and in the east too. Then we have this rain pushing across the country from the Atlantic on Friday. It's running into cold air so it could give some snow across uh, particularly parts of Scotland and down to uh, northern England before it turns back to rain, probably at lower levels anyway, but it could stay as snow on high ground. The weekend looks quite cold and increasingly dry, I think, through the course of the weekend, um, but with some pretty hard overnight frost, especially later on in the weekend. That's how we go into Monday, looking mainly dry, but it will be cold. There'll be a hard frost on uh, Monday morning. And then we're uh, looking at rain, sleet and snow potentially moving in from the northwest um, on Monday evening and into Tuesday. So, in summary, it's turning cold. We've got this cold front moving southwards, and given how dark it's going, I think that cold front is just arriving here in North Ants, so I think it'll be raining with me very shortly. But we've got this cold front moving southwards and eastwards across the country um, uh, at the moment, and it's taking rain with it, turning colder behind it, and then the rest of the Friday forecast period is going to be quite cold. There will be some rain and snow around on Friday. Uh, weekend looking fairly dry, but a few wintry showers around. Temperatures quite Quite cold with some pretty uh, frosty nights coming up as well. Watch out for widespread ice across the country potentially tonight. Right, we'll be back later on this afternoon with a look at the weather for uh, the next week to 10 days. So come back for that then. That's all for now and thanks for watching.